Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're staying at Away Resorts Whitecliff Bay. I haven't stayed at an Away Resorts before and we just happened to pick their original park. This one is on the Isle of Wight, so yesterday we jumped on board the White Link Ferry from Portsmouth. We're catching the Victoria of Wight from Portsmouth to Fishbourne. It's fairly windy today and the ferry is already 45 minutes late, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too choppy out there. Don't think I'll be venturing outside today. It's really windy out there and I'll probably get blown overboard. I think this is the choppiest crossing we've done. It's not bad motion wise, but there's a lot of spray coming up over the bow. We didn't find this last time, but there's a little movie room on board. At least this will keep Jess amused on the way over. I've booked us a superior two bed chalet, which is in Pelham Court, just up the hill from reception, the kids play park and the entertainment. We've got a small but fully equipped kitchen, dining table and TV in the middle of the room and a brightly coloured sofa area. The main bedroom has a double bed and they've continued the fresh brightly coloured decor in here. TV and radiator which might come in handy in this bad weather. They've made the most of the small space in the twin room by having the beds in this position. Another green bathroom. We use a one-way system to move around this room as it's a little narrow in the middle but I like how they've made the most of the space while still keeping it open and bright. This has got to be the best little washing kit we've had. The washing up liquid smells amazing. And once you've used the pencil, you put it in the plant pot container and it grows into flowers, or in our case, time. How fantastic is that? And a great reminder of your holiday. We've got some rat -ta, ta 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 furniture out on the veranda. And this is my favourite bit and the thing I've been looking forward to since we booked the break. The hot tub! And this is where I'll be spending most of the weekend. We're staying just before the main season, so not everything is currently open, but they very kindly offered me my own personal tour, so let's go have a look around. The weather isn't very nice, it's currently raining, but that means we get the crazy golf to ourselves. <laughs> I think there might be a bit of cheating going on. Think slowly, concentrate. Bit of cheating going on here. Yay! If you like what you've seen so far and you're thinking of visiting Away Resorts for the first time, then I've got a little discount code for you. Just enter my name on the coupon box on the payment screen and you could save yourself £50. And they might give me a little something as well. Don't worry if you can't remember that, I'll put a link in the description box below and all the information you need to know. Now it's starting to rain quite heavily, so we're going to go and grab something to eat.
Is it good? Yeah. It's really nice yummy garlic bread, isn't it? Yeah. It's better than anyone's garlic bread. Jess wanted chicken nuggets. I opted for the cheese toasty. And Mum has a burger and chips. I've chosen to finish off our meal with a brownie and ice cream. What have you got for your pudding? A strawberry sundae. Is it nice? Yes. <laughs> lovely, just eat the cream. It would be lovely to sit out here on a nice day having lunch beside the pool. The outdoor pool isn't open at the moment, but I bet it's packed in summer. There's a huge green in front of the restaurant overlooking the sea and they have organised events here on certain breaks like the colour festival that I'd really like to try next year. Activity centre behind the restaurant. We're seeing information boards like this at more and more of the parks now. I think it's a great way to teach children and adults about the local wildlife. I stupidly forgot that all walks must go through or via a play park. So that's the next three hours of my life gone. Rough seas ahead. Abandon ship, abandon ship. It's still really overcast and drizzly outside, but do you know what else you can do in the rain? Jump in the hot tub. I mean, it'll be rude not to. Someone couldn't wait to jump in. Because I don't recommend children spend long periods in hot tubs, I'll be limiting Jess's time to five minutes, which of course means I'll get lots of time in there on my own. Is Nanny's swimsuit filling with air from all the bubbles? <laughs> this is all going in the video, so I don't care. <laughs> and this is our view from the hot tub. I often get asked why we don't go on more day trips when we stay on these holidays and there's two reasons. Firstly because it would get very very expensive and second because I'm often too busy filming all the activities that are going on on site. But this weekend's a little different and today we're going to go and visit the Isle of Wight Donkey Sanctuary. It's about 20 minutes drive away and it's free to enter although they are grateful for any donations you may want to give. And when I contacted them they very kindly arranged for Jess to groom one of the donkeys. It's a little overcast and very windy today, but hopefully some of the donkeys might still want to come and say hello. We've brought some carrots for the donkeys. Although you can't feed them because they're on special diets and medications, all donations of carrots are gratefully received. They also accept cash and card donations to help support the donkeys. I just love warnings with a sense of humour. It's well laid out here and fairly flat and they're currently improving wheelchair access. Give her a stroke and say hello, China. Right, Do they enjoy being groomed or they not? They love being groomed, so it's like a little therapeutic massage for them. That's very fun, Dad. Yeah. Oh. 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 She has. You're busy, heard you were coming. We can't wash them because they get really, really, really cold and they can get hypothermia really easily as well. Okay, so in the, in the winter, that's why we keep them in. Put your left arm over her neck here and your right arm under her neck here and then you can give her a hug. 
You can go in closer, that's it. That's it, give her a nice big hug. Good job. You can go, that's it. You can go in even closer if you want. Oh, that's lovely. Well done. Trying to like hug. <laughs> done a great job. It's a lot cleaner now. Yeah. Some of the donkeys are here because they're poorly or neglected and they're receiving treatment from the staff. We found a little wishing well, which also accepts donations. Don't get blown down it. One last stop for a quick stroke of the donkeys in the yard and then we're heading back because it's getting really windy and it's starting to rain. Jess has got herself a little afternoon snack on the veranda and I'm going to go and look for souvenirs in the shop. I love white beer. Perfect present for Alan. Did you have fun today? Yes. What was your favourite bit? Being in China. She was really sweet, wasn't she? Yes. Anything else? Um, seeing Daisy have her eye blocks done. She was like this. She didn't want them done, did she? No. So what should we do this evening? Go in the hot tub. Can we go in the hot tub? Yes. It is ours. Well, we better do your hair and get your swimsuit on then, haven't we? Yes. I've been looking into how much it would cost to hire one of these once we get home. And it's actually cheaper to stay here for the weekend, which is a brilliant excuse to come back. I didn't realise just how tired and relaxed I would be from spending time in the hot tub. Jess is having a little afternoon nap. I think I'm going to put some Sunday TV on and maybe have a doze on the sofa. As much as I love our other breaks away, when we've got lots and lots of things to do, I think I really needed this. And having most of the facilities closed has been an unexpected gift. And that tells me I definitely need to plan more relaxation breaks. Talking of relaxation, oh, I think it might be time for 40 winks. We've had a lovely chilled out weekend, and it's been great just relaxing in the hot tub and not having to cram lots of activities into two days. It's been a brilliant first experience of away resorts, from their adorable little washing up kits to the covered parks. Everything's just got a little touch that makes it a little bit more luxurious and special. We will definitely be coming back here and I can't wait to experience some of the other away resorts parks too. I hope you found this video useful. If you did then please give it a like. If you want to see more from me in the future then click the subscribe button right here and if you want to see more from me right now why not watch one of my other videos. And don't forget if you carry on watching I'll carry on traveling. Bye!